Hi everyone, Articulate JP here back with another figure review and for this particular review I have here for you the Transformers Masterpiece MP41 The Badass Dinobot from Beast Wars of course As you can see we have him here as his dinosaur form and his robot mode also the Beast Wars logo right there in the background name and the MP number the top, very quickly the sides, and finally the back, showcasing you the figure, all the accessories that he comes with, the poses that you can do with him, and also a side-by-side -side comparison about the other um, Beast Wars masterpiece that came out. It will be Optimus Primal and Cheetah War. So without further ado, let's go ahead and open up this badass. Alright, so let's go ahead and open this. Um, I might choose this side. Just, is that it? Just one tape? Okay. Ooh. Okay, here we go. Oh my goodness. Let's see. In here. Oh, we got the golden disc right there. So, let's set this aside. Um, of course, we would have the instruction manual, but it is in Japanese. Let's see if. And then just tape in there. Let's see what we have here. Just instruction manual. Boy, this thing is wow. Um, how about this? Look at this, real quick. Basically, showing you the poses and stuff. So, we'll set this aside for now. And this is the golden disc. So it does have like the markings and stuff, just like in the show. Um, the sounds of Earth. If um, let's open this up. It's plastic. Okay, let's do this. Get that laser eye accessory there. We get the card. Pretty cool. Um, the part of instruction manual, and finally the figure. So you can see Dinobot's different head or face, actually. Go ahead and take out the tape here for this. Okay, that's one. Two. So there's four of them on each side. Two on each side, sorry. There's one. And there should be another one here. Cool. Alright. Is there any more tape? Yep, it's still tape. My bad. No tape there. Right here. Oh, I missed out. And this. So actually, there's a lot of tapes. So two, two. Okay. Let's the trays out. That is pretty cool. Let's look at his face, shall we? So here's the back of that, and here is the front, 
Burn. Okay. More light into this. Let's see if I can plug this light in here. Oh, great. Here we go. A little bit more light. That is so cool. And his face just gets angrier. Like, I mean, here's another one, and this one's more just transparent in that eye. And this is red, so I'm thinking this is where the green thing goes. Oh, didn't even know that. You know what? Wow, okay, so this one with the red eyes, his uh, mouth opens up. That's cool. This one as well. So let's see. If, I don't think this one does though. I think this is just, oh, it does too. Wow, um, so the first one, his mouth actually opens up too. That is so cool. Um, I don't even know what to pick up. Uh, this, um, his weapon, his sword, it is chrome, like brown, pink, almost pinkish color. You can see how shiny this thing is. Okay, that's so cool. Let me see, put this aside. His tail is super long let's see what can i compare it to um akuma storm collectible so this is easy i guess like around seven inches right so his tail alone is taller than him um so this is definitely a big figure let's pick up dinobot itself so this is the figure right out of that packaging. See his dino head sculpt. This is so cool. I'm thinking, yep. Ooh. The tongue is articulated somehow. It goes up and down only. Okay, so I have to figure out how to put this in there. It looks like there is a little, how does it go? Does it just go up there? But I'm not sure yet. I haven't read the manual. I just wanted to open this up right now and so you guys can look at it. And then I'm gonna add on the stuff later. I'm gonna read it and we're gonna transform him and we're gonna see him in robot mode in a bit here. But anyway, this is the figure right out of that packaging um, but him um, not quite sure what these are yet we're gonna figure that out a bit and I guess right here at the bottom of this tray I'm thinking this is the stand that he comes with uh oh that's okay we'll just This side and this one as well. Yeah, this is just a stand. I'm having a hard time here with all this plastic. Oops, Snoke just fell out of his throne. 
Uh oh. These tapes are crazy. And this is just like a stand. So let's go ahead and uh, organize this and I'll show you guys Dinobot here. In his robot mode and fixed dino self. Alright, so very quickly, I want to talk about Dinobot's dinosaur mode here and some of the feature that it has and articulation. So, for the tail, it's if you see it, it's really long, right? Um, so, they have to separate it, as you can see, like from opening the box. Anyway, in order for you to put this on, there is two tabs right here. You can see I took liberty of like pushing it up a little bit already, but you can see the whole right there where the tab goes in to his leg and so this comes up just like that right and then when it comes up you could see that there's a hole in there and there's also like a little hole for the tab right here too for the tail and also right here so what you want to do is push the tail in that hole and then you'll hear that clicking sound for that tab on the top and then you could just push this down and kind of play with it a little bit until you get the hole for those tabs right here in the bottom so anyway this is very that's how you able to put on dinobots tail here uh for while we're talking about the tail why won't we look at the articulation um, the tail is articulated here and also right here. You can't, I don't think you can move it from side to side, so just that articulation is what you'll get from Dinobot's tail. Um, oh, let's talk about um, his arms, his little arms here and his. And so you can see there's like a, a hole here, circle for the tab. I think this is for him to be able to hold the disc. Anyway, the uh, fingers are not articulated, so they're just, just like that. They're a hole there. So fingers are not individually articulated, but the hand um, just goes up that way and down this way you could swivel it in the arms right here like way up here by the shoulder but the forearm area um, you can't swivel it and the arms could go up that way and down this way and you could kinda play around with it over here too so the other thing is the leg so the legs here the talons individual toes i don't know if you could tell but it's sculpted like everything is so nice like everything like you could see from his dino skin everything's like beautifully sculpted and painted too you can see the textures right there and his um, tail too. I mean, you could tell little details on there, and they are individually articulated. So, all three of his toes can move. Feet, just like that, up, up that high, this low. Um, so from this leg, part of the leg not here um, and for for the leg right here this area I don't think this moves at all this but it can go just a little bit on this side and that's it um, but here in this area part of the legs it could go back that way and it could go up that way and of course right here right here as well and just swivel and you could hear the ratchet joints 
um, which is very nice. Also, what other feature? Oh, dinosaur mode. So of course, you guys saw earlier I was playing with the mouth, so the mouth could open that much. Also, tongue somewhat articulated. It goes up and down. I can't. For the life of me, I can't put this. There we go. So the tongue does doesn't wanna. There you go. It goes up that high, and of course it could go all the way down there as well. And the neat feature that I want to talk about is the eyes. So the head right here, it goes up. Get this. It goes up right, and then you could rotate this part, and so he could like squint his eyes just like that. Again, lift this up, rotate it, and you can see his eyes. It's much bigger. That, I think that was really cool. So some articulation and features on the dinosaur mode. Really cool. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and put him into robot mode. Oh, um, very quickly, I wanted to show you guys the uh, stand accessories and how it goes together with Dinobot. So in dinosaur mode, right, his belly right here, it opens up actually. So there's a little peg there, a peg hole right there. And this little clear thing right here, it goes inside his belly. So this little halfway, half circle thing goes inside there. So it fits in there snugly and then you close the belly flap right with the peg that goes with it so as soon as wait let me see I mess this up okay and then you put this up and then it just goes in there and then so this will be a part of the stand so for the stand, how I managed to figure this out is like this little thing right here goes with this part going up there. So you put them together like this. Just like that. And this big piece goes this way. So there. That's the uh, stand, and how it works is that you put this up, and then you could put it anywhere on this tab with this. So you could put it like high like that, or you know, what, whichever place you want. So anyway, let's choose this distance. And so this, now you could kind of see that this part right here, this little peg, goes with the hole that, that's in this clear piece. So. Anyway, it just, you kind of just put it there and it holds them up just like that. So you could pose Dinobot in his dinosaur mode. And again, this could also go down, up, and he's going to be there nice and secured. All right. All right, so here is Dinobot in his robot form. Take a look at the details on this guy. I'm not gonna lie, the transformation, um, some of it's easy enough, but the hardest part would probably be like keeping all this together inside of him, like the dino head, the arms, just these flaps right here, that was like the hardest part of this transformation, just to keep it all together, because everything else just kind of falls apart if it's not locked in. Anyway, um, as you can see, he is absolutely perfect on robot mode. The front part, and a lot of people, you know, they're saying about the back part, back part of Dinobot is it's it is kind of you know but who's gonna look at it from the back I mean but this is the back part of him but you're definitely not gonna display him or have him you know facing the back so 
here he is. So let's talk about articulation wise. So articulation wise, um, his head could go swivel. I took out the face blade and hoping that you know I could easily just take it out and show you guys how to um, change the face, but I guess it's just locked in there. So that's what the clicking sound was. So head swivel left and right. Um, I guess you could kind of he kind of could look down, but that's kind of awkward. So that's not really. So he, technically, he can't really look down as much, but he can look up that high. And it's on the ball joint right there. So that's for the head. Arms. Arms is pretty good. I mean, I guess you got this particular shin right in between there. Also, a ratchet joint right here for the arm. Forearm. As soon as you start to bend it, this thing will come out. So you're going to have to push it back and kind of do this all the time. So whenever you, I guess when you push it back, it's fine and straighten out the arm. But when you kind of want to bend it, this thing just pops open. But that's okay because you could just put it back and it'll be okay. Um, so for the um, forearm, there's really no articulation in here except for the arm going up and down. The swivel is more towards this part of the arm and for the hands fingers are individually articulated as you can see here you could bend it that much and then he could open up all the way and that goes for the bottom fingers too and of course the hand has a little hole right there so he could hold um, his sword and his dino shield or cyber shield i forgot what it's called or what they call it on the instruction manual um for the legs here and also here is the swivel down here and for this one it's a little bit tricky but it could go up to that you hear that ratchet joint there. Um, for the feet, there's a swivel right here and also all the way just like that. Um, overall, I really like him. Um, the articulation for me is really good. Um, yeah, I just, I mean, I love this figure. I mean, just come on, look at him. He really looks like the Dinobot from the show. Anyway, now let's talk about um, the feature that it has. Um, so he does have light up feature on his eye. Um, you have to get an LR44 batteries and you have to unscrew this and screw it back. And there's like a little, there's a button right here that you press and you can see his eyes. Let me see if I can turn this one off. There you go this away let's do that again and it automatically turns off by itself too i was trying to figure out i was like was there an off button but what i discovered is that okay if you press it again you hold it it turns green for his dino beam that's really neat um so there you go okay Turn the lights back on. So in order for you to change his face, you kind of just see this tab right there. You kind of just have to play around with it. And that's how it looks like from the inside. And this one, let's change it with this face. So in this one, in this particular face, you could put the dino beam accessory, which is this. So it's a translucent plastic and it goes, you could stick it in his eye just like that. And then he could, you could do the light up feature. Um, let's go ahead and turn off the lights again. So 
and we hold it and there goes the dyno beam right there it's so cool and by the way um i forgot to mention the uh the head that it comes with the face plates the mouth is articulated so it opens up and you could he shows you some teeth there and that's true I think you saw it early for all the other ones except no no actually all of them I was gonna say except the default but yeah the default also opens up so so that's pretty neat um, the other ones that we have is a sword so it's got a sword here I'm gonna set them aside so the sword um, so it's chrome pinkish chrome color really shiny so it folds just like that and that's his sword right there and the way you put it is that there's a peg right there and the, of course the hand has a hole and you kind of just push it in there in that hole and he grabs it and that's it now that's pretty cool for the tail so I, I already have it opened up, right? Um, so this one goes, I think it folds. You push it, and it folds. Anyway, the tail opens up, obviously, right? So in order for you to go fold it this way, there's a little um, thing right here that you go to push, this circle thing I don't know what I'm gonna call it like a tab but you know it's really hard for you to get it into this position so you had to really have to push it and I'm scared that I'm gonna bend it so what I did was I used a uh, blow dryer and I kind of blow dried it for a little while so I did loosen up a little bit and then it it really helped pushing it easier because it's really tight in these joints so and then you kind of as when you get like um, that much of a gap, you could actually just go ahead and kind of push this just like so. And then there's tabs here, like you could, there's a tab right there and then there's a hole right there that the tail goes into. And then so you kind of get that whole shield thing. And then just like the, um, original toy uh, it does have like that spinning feature so every time you press on this it spins that's pretty cool and also like you can combine it with a sword so his sword right here you could actually just I believe you push this up and there's also like peg there you could plug this into just like that so it spins so it has a sword in there which is neat just like the original toy um, so there's that and the other accessories that you're gonna get is this little tiny clear plastic here and for this little tiny clear plastic it is for him to be able to hold the golden disc on his robot or dinosaur form so this just goes in there just like that so it stays in there and then so this hole could go in here or however you know which way you want him to hold the disc so there he's able to hold that disc through that little tiny accessory and for this one, it just opens up. So it's originally like this, this clear plastic as well. And then you could just open this up and then you could just put the disc. So it's basically just a disc holder. You just hold the disc just like that if you want to display it. Um, and then for the last accessory, which is another clear plastic, this one goes into his butt. So just like in the dinosaur mode um this one is for the stand and i have the stand right here um 
So again, then the stand comes back, and then that peg right there goes into that hole. Oh boy. So, and there you have them like standing up, like there's a gap in that floor. And you could dynamically pose him, you know. And you could choose the height of which way you want to pose him in. So, that's the other accessory that you get. So, I'm gonna go ahead and take him out of that. Oh boy, this one's really stuck in there. In that hole. So, I'm just gonna leave it there for now. Set this aside. So, what I wanna do right now is to show you very quickly with the whole gang here. I do have, let's just put these guys aside. I'm gonna put this in the back right here. Just so that they don't fall over. Okay, so I'm gonna take off the camera here in a bit. But let me, I have the whole team right here. So we have the um, Masterpiece Optimus Primal. We also have the uh, Masterpiece Cheetor there. And the Generation Scale. Let's see. Rat Trap just won't stand up. So let me fix him real quick. I don't want him falling over. I should have used his tail to make him stand up, but there and then we have the um i i can't remember what it's called but the rhinox um would it be i was gonna say legends but anyway this is the transformer rhinox that we just got recently for the life of me i just don't remember what it's called but anyway here is a shot of the crew uh oh his head just sticking out You can see how big Dinobot is. Rat Trap. I think the Rat Trap is. It's okay. Like, we could. I mean, I wouldn't mind having a, a MP Rat Trap, you know. Uh, definitely would want that. But I also would want an MP Rhinox. Because, I mean, look at him compared to all of them. He's quite tiny. Granted, he's not MP scale, and so is Rat Trap. But Rat Trap for now works. So, but here is a comparison for them. And I don't know if I could get quick Marvel Legend scale guy here. So I just have Black Bolt. So I mean. He's a big guy. Alright guys, um, thank you so much for watching this video. Um, I'm on Instagram at ArticulateJPs. You're more than welcome to give me a follow there and just look at toy photos and all other geeky stuff and dumb things that I do on Instagram. Um, anyway, again, thank you for watching. If you liked the video, please hit that like button and subscribe for more. And I will see you there at my Instagram, particularly JP. Out.